According to studies, clinical features of COVID-19 include cough in about 76% of patients and sputum production in 28% of patients, along with 55 and 44% of patients showing dyspnea and myalgia respectively. The mucus in the airways traps the microorganisms and virus, followed by excretion, which serves as the first-line defense against pathogens. However, when mucus is accumulated in the airways, and it's not expelled through cough clearance, it obstructs the airways and enhances hypoxia, inflammation, infection, and progressive lung diseases by neutrophil infiltration. It has been reported that the bronchol velar lavage fluid samples of critically ill COVID-19 patients contain higher levels of mucins. Mucolytic and bronchodilator administration and tracheal suctioning have been reported to maintain airway hygiene, thus reducing the mortality rate of COVID-19. Enzyme drugs like serapeptis have also been shown as an effective adjuvant that possesses mucolytic property, anti-inflammatory, antithrombotic, fibrinolytic, and antimicrobial properties with a long history of safe clinical use. As a mucolytic drug, serapeptis facilitates mucus clearance by modulating sputum viscosity and decreasing neutrophils. Coagulopathy complications have also been observed in patients with COVID-19, which led to various thrombotic events in COVID-19 patients. The fibrinolytic property of serapeptis leads to the degradation of blood clots, arterial plaques, and atherosclerosis that are formed during inflammation and coagulation. Serapeptis has been used as a resolution to any kind of inflammation. Its anti-inflammatory activity is due to its ability to reduce inflammatory cytokines, serotonin, histamine, and adhesion molecules in the airway. Studies have also shown that it facilitates the absorption of decomposed products through blood and lymphatics, thus facilitating the healing of the inflammation. We would like to hear about your own experience with this topic. Leave a comment. If you have any friends who may find this information helpful or interesting, you can use the share button and share this video with them on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, or any other social media. Lastly, remember that it is important to talk to your doctor or other professional before beginning any sort of supplementation or treatment. Feel free to contact us if you want us to give you the contact information of professionals who work with our network.